Hi, my name is Douglas Simonetto. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, and one of the hepatologists at Mayo Clinic. Today, we are discussing the Fontan-associated liver disease. One important long-term complication of, Fontan, of the Fontan procedure is the development of liver disease. There is a wide spectrum of consequences to the liver after Fontan operation, ranging from passive congestion to cirrhosis and liver cancer. Liver congestion develops as a consequence of persistently elevated pressures in the central veins or the central venous system. Liver congestion does not typically cause any symptoms, but it can be detected by persistently elevated liver tests in the blood and in the absence of other potential causes of liver injury. So it is important for patients after phone 10 with persistently elevated liver tests to undergo an extensive evaluation by a liver specialist. Once other causes of abnormal liver tests have been, have been ruled out, a diagnosis of fontaine associated liver disease can be made. Prolonged congestion of the liver can lead to scar tissue or fibrosis formation, which in turn can progress to cirrhosis. A retrospective study done here at Mayo Clinic showed that approximately 40% of patients will develop cirrhosis about 30 years after the phone turn operation. Unfortunately, we are still not able to identify which patients are at increased risk for development of cirrhosis, and therefore, follow-up and monitoring by a liver specialist is important. While liver congestion does not typically cause any symptoms, cirrhosis may present with symptoms or signs of liver failure. The most common complications of cirrhosis include volume overload, manifested by fluid retention in the abdomen, also called ascites, hepatic encephalopathy, it's another complication of cirrhosis, manifested by confusion, disorientation, and other mental status changes due to an elevated level of unfiltered toxins in the blood. Finally, gastrointestinal bleeding is a common complication of cirrhosis due to rupture of varicose veins in the esophagus and the stomach. The diagnosis of fontaine associated cirrhosis can be difficult to make at early stages. Most laboratory and radiologic studies cannot distinguish congestion from cirrhosis. Currently, our protocol is to perform a non-invasive fibrosis assessment tool called magnetic resonance elastography, or MRE, which measures the stiffness of the liver as a surrogate for liver fibrosis or scar tissue. Congestion, however, may also increase the stiffness of the liver, and often a liver biopsy has to be performed to confirm the diagnosis of cirrhosis. Once cirrhosis is confirmed, surveillance for liver cancer is started. This includes a combination of an abdominal imaging, such as a CT scan, an MRI, or an ultrasound, plus a blood test for a tumor marker called alpha fetoprotein. These tests are usually performed every six months. Unfortunately, there are no effective treatments available to prevent the development of cirrhosis after the phone 10 operation. The complications of cirrhosis and liver failure are initially managed symptomatically. For example, volume overload and ascites are managed with salt or sodium restriction plus diuretics. Hepatic encephalopathy, encephalopathy is treated with medications that lower the levels of toxins in the bloodstream and gastrointestinal bleeding can be treated with endoscopic therapies such as band ligation for esophageal varices and glue injection for bleeding gastric varices. Patients with advanced fontan associated liver disease should be evaluated for liver transplant. If there are no contraindications, liver transplant can be performed in conjunction with a heart transplant. Thank you for your attention.